Hey guys, this is Wayne here, and I just wanted to give a big thank you to IML and Donnie Cox, who is organizing these events and really just putting on a stellar show. Every time we come to one of these events, we're received with a very warm welcome, and they really roll out the red carpet for their vendors, uh, for the manufacturers, for the locksmith, for everybody involved. And I really enjoyed my time there, and I wanted to extend a thank you to Donnie Cox and to the IML team, everybody involved. They did a magnificent job putting together this show. They always do. Uh, Las Vegas, uh, California, and Denver are all in the area for my territory in the southwest region and every time we've gone, gone to one of these shows I've gone to all of them they really just roll everything out and do an excellent job so thank you so much from me to you uh, we need more things like this we need that hands-on education we need people to become familiar with products at the trade show and we need all of this for our community and for our locksmiths out there so thank you so much I really appreciate it look forward to seeing everybody again next year and have a wonderful day check out the uh, trade show we're gonna go and uh, take a look at that and see what it's all about a lot of people haven't seen what an actual trade show is about so if you haven't gone to a trade show or event for your locksmith community I highly recommend you think about doing so uh, I know that it costs money to fly or drive and stay in the hotel and do all those things but trust me it's worth it we need that camaraderie we need that engagement with other locksmiths you're gonna learn more at one of these hands-on events with an actual qualified instructor and with the camaraderie outside of the classroom as well you go you have a beer you tell some more stories and everybody learns from one another and that's really what this is all about is just bringing people together Together and utilizing your time, making new friends, learning about new products, and making your business as productive and profitable as it can be by adding new knowledge and tools to your tool bag. Sincerely, from me to you, thank you so much. Let's go check this trade show out. Have a great day. Hey, how's it going out there? This is Wayne, and welcome to the documentary series. Uh, I'm covering what I do, how I do it, why I do it. Uh, and, and just kind of the what it's like to be a locksmith. What's it like to be a day in the life of a locksmith? And I'm just not a normal locksmith either. I don't just run a company. I don't just change locks. I don't just do all of that stuff. I actually am the board representative for the Associated Locksmiths of America, or ALOA, A-L-O-A dot org, if you're interested in more information, to join the largest group of security professionals on the planet. This is the place to be. ALOA is definitely the must be location to find all that information for your association needs. Now, some of my duties do include coming to these trade shows, and this is all voluntary time, okay? Uh, I volunteer my time. I do not get paid for this. Um, we can turn in receipts to get reimbursed for some travel expenses, but trust me when I tell you, uh, I end up losing on these things in most circumstances. Uh, I, I don't turn in food receipts and Uber receipts and things like that. Uh, it's usually just a plane ticket and the hotel coverage. Uh, so this is me giving back to the industry. I know that we're losing time. I'm not running my shop. I'm not doing the calls at home, but this is part of giving back to the industry, giving back to the locksmith community, and that's why I enjoy doing it. I'm not complaining. I'm not uh, looking for you know, sympathy or anything like that. I'm telling you, this is what it takes to be in this position. I am privileged to be in this position to where I have a successful enough company to where I can go out and visit some of these locations and be able to interact, interact with the people of that local organization and the local community here. Because I am the Southwest Board Director, that means that California, uh, Nevada, Colorado, Arizona, these states all kind of fall under that district. And so I make it a point to make myself available to these locations and show up and support these trade shows. And they in turn support the association back. So it's a great symbiotic relationship to where the association works with the suppliers and the and the different people along the food chain to help give the people, the end user, the locksmith or you, the most 
for your buck. You get the biggest bang for your buck when you can go to these events and maximize your experience. You're going to get training. You're going to get education. You can get CEU credits. You can learn about new products that you didn't know about before. If you learn about the new products before your competitors do, that means that you can offer something that they can't even offer yet because they didn't take the time to do the research to understand all of the things that are available to solve their customer's problem. So that's what we do. So this documentary series, we're actually going to go ahead and check out a trade show, look at some of the different people and some of the different vendors, and see what one of these things is like. If you have not gone to a trade show, I highly recommend it. Please come on down and visit. Check out your local association. Also check out ALOA, the Associated Locksmiths of America. There is a ton of stuff that they do for the community. So come on and let's check it out. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is Wayne here, and this is the Aloha booth at the IML Trade Show in California. If you can attend this trade show, come by and learn about all Aloha has to offer. We've got automotive locksmiths, we've got Safe and Vault Technician Association, we've got the Associated Locksmiths of America, the main uh, subscription. We also have Safe Tech this year and the Aloha Trade Show. So, come on down, talk to me, see if there's anything we can do for you. And I will give you one of my free classes personally just for filling out an application today. Come on down and say hello. Alrighty, here's the Aloha booth with myself getting ready to take a tour of the entire event. Now, let me let you know that we took one tour of the event. Uh, it took a couple different times to make it through. We did not play favorites. If somebody was home and they had a lot to offer, we stopped by and took a look at their products, like GKL products. This is the Hinge Doctor. The Hinge Doctor goes over the hinge, just like so, and you apply a crescent wrench and then rotate it in towards the door and apply torque in towards the door. It will take a sagging door and lift it up and re-swedge, yes, that's swedge, the hinge. So it fixes and repairs the hinge. There you're looking at the mega screwdriver and the pivot hinge adjustment wrench. Here we're also looking at some products that block off old existing holes in aluminum storefront doors. There are very few products that are designed to work on aluminum storefront doors. These are the GKL products bridge kits. They're extremely useful for electronic access installation when you have a deadbolt or something that you're trying to remove or neutralize or delete from the door in order to add electronic access. You can see how this product cleanly covers up all of the holes securely and cleanly. Here are the Hinge Doctor kits. These kits are extremely useful. There's their really big heavy duty one right there for like prison and industrial hinges. Those hinge doctors are money makers. Every time I pull them out, it adds another $25 to my invoice per hinge or door. Here we're looking at some oversized screw kits, a GKL storefront variety kit. I have this on the truck as well, extremely useful. Always could use some aluminum paint or duranautic paint to match those doors in case something gets scratched. This is a unique product for the enlarging existing holes. If you have that smaller diameter, this will fix that. Now let's take a look at the Suprema products. They are an access control and biometric company that has what looks like a face ID reader right here that could go on the outside of a door. It would scan your face or biometrics. Here is a fingerprint reader and it looks like this will take face, card, ID, two in one. They have many products for your electronic access needs. Check out Supreme. Etherwayne is a company that provides industrial blocks and terminals for ethernet connections along with these waterproof boxes so that you can make sure all of your connections and ethernet connections customized and secure and weatherproof. Shout out to Lock Labs, some of the best key machines on the market to date. Here are a few that they had at this trade show. This is the Messenger electronic key machine. Here is their newer machine called the Black Widow, I believe. This is a smaller, dumbed down version of the Triton uh, Plus key machine, which is featured right here. This is the machine that I personally use and carry and find absolutely amazing. Next up is our Leashy Tools. Where would we be without Leashy? 
here. I am actually at the event. I'm picking one of the locks right now with one of these leashy tools in a key vise. Looks like it just picked right over, just like so. I believe this is a five or six pin lock and we should be able to decode and see what that key actually is here in just a second. So this is the SC1. That would indicate that this is a five pin lock. Looks like we've got a number two, a number two, a number two, a number four, and a number one cut. That's just me reading really fast into that. Here's Mr. Mike Kennedy getting set up. Here we have the PDK cloud-based access control. Anytime, anywhere, under any conditions, access control that works for everyone. PDK access controls. I'll let this lock incorporate it. These are some of the most used locks that I have. They, they have great solutions for interchangeable core, as you can see right here, or customized locking solutions, matching larger keyways to drawer locks or smaller style locks, the key switch locks, and cabinet locks of all kinds. Next up is UNV. Again, we have another camera company that has quite a few high quality, high resolution 4K cameras. And you can see here, I'm checking out some of their dual lens cameras. And you can see that other one has a rotating lens along with a fixed lens attached to it. So they have some really unique options for high... Whenever we go to a trade show, Asa Abloy is bound to be there. They have some amazing products and are one of the absolute industry leaders. Here are some of the Asa products, extremely high security locks. I believe, in my personal opinion, one of the most high security locks, if not the most unpickable lock that I have encountered. Here are some of their Medico products. They show that you can use them with uh, cylindrical locks along with padlocks. Here is the Aero Cylindrical Indicator Lock that we recently did a review on, and I have installed this for several customers who have found it to be extremely useful. Indicator locks seem to be the name of the game at this particular trade show, as there were quite a few different options as you just saw there uh, on that other product we were looking at as well. Here are some push to exit buttons for electronic access a magnetic locking system that you can see right here. This is a customized electronic uh, magnetic locking system. Here are some electronic strikes. they are different electronic strikes and how those different electronic strikes work. A lot of times they are powered up at the show on these displays and you can actually use them and touch them and feel them and hear them click and see exactly how they work. Like this one, when we turn the key, you notice the light comes on giving us an indication that we either have power and that is locked or now unlocked. Another new electronic strike that I had not seen before is this double electronic strike for multi-point doors that may have one or more latches involved with them for specifically like European style doors. Here are one of our favorite tools to use and install is a push to exit touch sense bar. This senses the electricity in your body and then cuts the power to the electronic mag lock mounted in the system. Got a couple more electronic strikes and a gate electronic strike along with a very nice power supply. Megapro retractable screwdriver established in 1994. I can tell you that this is one of the most handy tools that I have on my tool belt. This is my EDC or everyday carry bag. It's got all of your security bits, pin and torques, torques, flathead, regular Phillips head, and most of your other security bits as well. This one actually has double the bits stacked inside of it, and they also have a marker. Back for some more Asa Abloy action. Again, they are one of the largest booths at the event. Here, we've got all anti-ligature devices. That means devices to go into a facility where people may harm themselves through hanging or some other fashion. You'll notice that there's an indicator bar above. When something is placed on that door, you get a signal. Everything else simply cannot be hung or nothing can simply be hung from it. Here we have a indicator device. I told you that indicator devices were a pretty hot commodity this year, and this definitely showcases that. Here's a heavy duty uh, bolt style lock, very extremely heavy duty with that indicator style on there. Now we're getting to some even more high security uh, applications as well, where we've got these bolts that shoot out and we've got 
the three-point locking system with exit device for those high security applications. Uh, jewelry stores or cell phone stores really enjoy this product. Now we come over to Kit Lock by Code Locks. If you've used the Code Locks product, then you will enjoy the Kit Locks as well. Code Locks work great for commercial applications or some residential applications. And now their Kit Locks are actually, you've probably encountered these if you've gone to a, any location that has a gym uh, style membership or anywhere where there's lockers involved. You can see he's giving a demonstration about how the lockers actually work and how it's actually programmed. You simply walk up to the lock, program your code into it, then turn it over. It gives you that one-time use. You put your code back into it. It unlocks one time and you are set to go. Here are some other mechanical style push button locks as well by Code Lock. Here is BEA. If you've used an automatic door operator where you've pushed the button, you've probably used a BEA product. Here we've got the wave to open or wave to sense that eliminates the hands-free or touching portion part of it. And then those regular buttons as well. Here we've got uh, some electronic access as well. Now back to my duties to having people sign up and see where they're at. Uh, we've got some people signing up for the Aloha registration here. And finally, it is lunchtime. Look at that beautiful prime rib. My goodness, they really roll out the red carpet. And we're back to the tour, checking out the Napco booth. Here's Napco. Some products that you're probably already very familiar with. An Alarm Lock Trilogy or T3 with Prox Fob Reader here. Mechanical Key Override. Got the narrow frame storefront style alarm lock with keypad as well as you can see and then we've got the box that can be used to pull auto trail or add some of the programming into this particular system for your alarm lock series here is their networks product that allows it to go wireless and we're off to Marks USA, designed from the inside out. Marks products carry a lifetime warranty, at least the ones I used to, and their external trim, anti-ligature trim like this works great. This is an anti-ligature handle and an anti-ligature cylindrical lever set that you're seeing me operate right now. Then we've got some other keypad style locks like this one right here, and they're extremely famous for their exit devices like so. This one has an internal keyed feature like so, and their M99 Mark's exit device will bolt up to an existing Von, du Von Duprin footprint, but save you on the cost. These are all products that I personally use quite often. Milesight is another camera company that has some 4K and ultra high definition cameras at their particular booth right here. You can see these dome style cameras. Uh, they also have something that looks about the size of a smoke detector as well. Very unique camera design. And we're off to the Allegiant booth. It wouldn't be a trade show without seeing the Allegiant products. There are usually a bunch of them here. Allegiant makes wonderful products. Starting off with, you can see that the exit device with that key cylinder is becoming quite a popular product here. You can lock it from the inside or the outside, probably for schools would be the most used application for that particular lock there. Here we've got their door closer series and some of their other lock cylinder series, their restricted keyway and Everest series, the LCN 4040 XP door closer. You saw us do an installation of that along with the door operator that mounts directly onto that 4040 XP series door closer right here. You can see that work and operate with a wave sensor right in front of you right there. Then we have a cylindrical lever set along with a service kit from a Legion. Sergeant Corbin Schlenk known for our FSIC. Yeah. So Primus and Everest. And now if you have existing Sergeant and Corbin up, you can maybe they have one building on our FSIC. You can oh. use the same key now that's prepped with the control log for Corbin. Corbin's gonna be on the second and third so chamber. It's gonna be A2 down, pinning down. on that plug. Yeah. Sergeant's gonna be the third and fourth chamber, and that's also gonna be on the A2. And then the other chambers are gonna be standard slag pinning. That's beautiful. And the key will work 
So you can take over or transfer? Yeah, yes. so you don't need to replace all the hardware. It's less barrier to enter. Our new indicator coming out. Yep, that'll be here. Uh, you can order it now. Okay. It's shipping in May. Yep. Uh, yeah, so that's the existing LED and the EB. The new ones are all the way down here. XC360s, we've got our cylindrical, we've got our mortise, mortise body. and then here's the most exciting one. Panic bar. Exit trim for yeah. the engage line. Nice. Now on our control locks that are interconnected and go in multifamily or our Bs, we never had a key override. So requested on this, we now have a sneaky key Ooh, override. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And that's only going to be select C right now. In the future, it might be able to hold something more high secure. So this will be commissioned and managed on our Engage platform. Yes. Um, but you can also connect it into certain access control partners. Right now, it's limited. It's kind of more of a dumb lock right now. Mm -hmm. It will be completely smart by the end of the year. Okay, cool. Well, that's exciting. I appreciate that. Thank you. Moving on over to Lockley. Lockley has some very innovative products and we have used these as well. Some of their electronic deadbolts with fingerprint reader technology are some of the best on the market. You can see those products right here. They also have a vision series that I'm looking at right now that has a camera built directly into the lock along with a solar panel to help keep it charged. Here is their newer product a, called a Lockley Duo that has the deadbolt portion formed right into it and what looks to be a small safe. Phillips and Associates was the next booth that we moved on over to. They had some Cal Royal products along with an electronic deadbolt product as well that we can see work with the key. Notice how the key is locking and unlocking that particular deadbolt and then you can see from the inside there's a product that actually goes directly on that deadbolt and allows you to operate the deadbolt with your smartphone. There are some of the Cal Royal products. Do it again. Lock and unlock. Cool. That's pretty sweet. Then you can come by and unlock it. So we have a lot of multifamilies out there that just Payphone is one of the oldest and most recognized names in electronic access control. Here you can see some of their products, including camera systems, along with the original products that allow you to communicate throughout the entire property using their product. Moving on down the line, Trimco came up next, and their hands-free products work very good to keep your hands clear from having to touch things all the time. So you can see how this deadbolt slides back and forth and then it has those big curves on that plate to be able to operate the door without touching it with your hands. Here is a deadbolt latch that actually has little ears that spring and retract or expand into the frame making it much more difficult to slip that latch or bypass it without authorization. Here is another plate that can get mounted in a doorway as well and we've got some different products at this booth that provide hands-free operation for your lock so you can actually reach inside there and utilize that or lift up and down to lock or unlock the door. Here they're going back over that unit that we started with originally and showing exactly how that system can be used and maintained hands-free from the inside or from the outside with an indicator on the outside. Moving on down the line to Specco Technologies. They had some really cool looking cameras right here. You can see that they've got a PA system to be able to communicate auditorily. And then they have quite a few different 4K and HD camera systems to be able to monitor and survey your area that you need. Next up is Lockheed Products. They offer quite a few different push button locks from lever locks to deadbolts. Here you can see they have the option for their product to be used on a gate as well. So they have unique locking options. These would go on a Adams Wright storefront door, such as a hook bolt or a dead bolt. And then this one allows you to actually mount locking hardware on a round pole. You can see how that square box allows you to mount on a round surface. This again would be another protected 
locking style that would close and latch or lock on a gate. You can see how the latch uniquely conforms. Check out Lockheed USA. CVDI security to access. Unfortunately, there was nobody here at this particular time, but we have used their products in the past and are very happy with them. On over to Frontline USA Defense Systems. This is a full length door latch guard that literally protects the entire length of the door. It's an interlocking latching latch guard system that I personally feel should be installed with every bit of electronic access these days. Frontline Defense. Oh, plus key hider? Uh-uh. Okay, that's kind of new. That's one of your new ones there? Um, did you see Oh, do you have a bag of Huh? Um, I was just going to see if you were Oh, there. I did not. I'm a late entry, so oh, I did not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have a lock shop? Are you mobile? We have both. Do you normally stock our stuff? We don't have a lot of traffic in the shop okay. because it's more of like a warehouse for uh, safes right now, but we will have more in the future. Next up, we've got GMS Lock Cylinders. This company manufactures high quality, precision made cylinders of all kinds and all different keyways. Check out GMS Cylinders. That'll be the end of this particular trip. Here's a beautiful picture from my hotel room of the sunset. And I thank IML and all of the vendors for letting me come by and enjoy looking at their products, learning about the new products, asking questions, and all of the wonderful people that we met on this journey. Until next time, see you later. For those that would like to advertise, check out the QR code. Have a great day.